Big on YouTube. Welcome back to another video at the house. Sorry about that. In today's video, we're going to go over my Acorns portfolio. Um, Acorns is a nice app, uh, very user friendly. Uh, real quickly, basically, what you do is set your risk tolerance from conservative to aggressive or in between, however you like it. Deploy your money. They do all the investing for you. You don't even have to look at it. You don't have to trade anything. You don't have to really do nothing at all. But keep adding money to it like a savings account. And um, reap the benefits of uh, compound interest plus the drip of compounding dividends. So as you see here, my portfolio is a little bit overvalued of a little bit over $1,100 in value. And we'll look at my charts. Over the past month, I'm up $74.26, which is 4.32%. Over the past three months, I'm up 150, a little over 150 dollars, up 2.76 percent. Over the past six months, I'm up 183.8, dollars and 19 cents, up 3.12 percent. Over the past year, I'm up 89 dollars and 82 cents, 1.1, 1 1.51 percent. In all time, 91 dollars. 81 cents and 1.54 percent and looking back here uh, the reason why my growth is so much better in the six months rather than all time is because I started the house money uh, strategy here on my acorns account back in June back six months ago so before then I was just investing a little bit at a time and um, I really didn't know how to use the app so I had my um, risk tolerance set on you know very conservative and i was just switching it every month you know from conservative to moderately conservative to uh moderate to moderate aggressive to aggressive and i was just switching it you know every month i was switching the setting just to kind of test it out anyway due to the timing what happened was in march during the 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 market crash that was my month to move it to aggressive and doing so of course i lost i lost all my profits which I was down about 80 bucks or so. A little about, yeah, about, about like $87. And then, you know, aggressive is the highest setting. So after aggressive, I went all the way back to down to conservative in April. So as the mount, the as the market was bouncing back and coming back, um, my risk tolerance was super low. So that took me out of them blue chip stocks and put me into the bonds and treasuries. So, of course, I didn't get those gains that everybody else seen in the market, you know, on the rise of the stock market from the pandemic crash which was you know my own doing not understanding how the app worked or about the positioning or the shares that it got you into um here recently when i started this challenge i just looked into it more and i kind of figured it out i used to think that the app was garbage but the app is also actually works very well and actually has very good companies in it uh so with that being said we'll go ahead and take a look at you know the actual value breakdown so this is by dollar amount uh, large companies I got 603 worth medium companies I got 114 small companies I got 57 international companies I got 343 and the percentages are uh, large companies 53% of the portfolio 10% into medium 5% into small 30% into international and the amount of shares I own for large companies 1.7 medium companies about 50% of a share Small companies about 61% of the share, and I own five shares in the international company. Now we'll take out a look at starting with the small, um, you know which which holdings are in here, and I'll just name a few. Um, we got Neogen Corporation, we got Wingstop, we got Fox Factory Holding, Stamps.com, uh, we got Agree Realty Corporation. So these would just be the small holdings for the small companies. And then we'll go take a look at the medium companies, which we have uh, Etsy, Pool Corporation, Tremble. So they're decent, decent small, decent um, medium. What I really like on this app are the large cap companies and the international companies that it holds. So we have Tencent, we got Nestle, we got Samsung, uh, we got Alibaba. So these are nice international companies four great companies there and my favorite one is the large companies 
So we got Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google Class A and C. We got Johnson & Johnson, Brookshire Hathaway, Procter & Gamble, and Visa. So off the bat, you got four or well five of the biggest companies in the world in Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, and Google. Then you got Brookshire Hathaway managed by Warren Buffett, uh, arguably the greatest investor of all time. Then you got three great dividend growth stocks in Johnson & Johnson, Visa, and PG, Procter Grand Gamble. So very nice uh, fun detail for the large cap stocks. And I'll just kind of show you here about the aggressive rating that I'm talking about. If it loads up. Okay, so here is aggressive, right? So look how big the, the pie is for the large cap. And that's your Google, your Amazon, your Microsoft, um, your J&J &J and all that good stuff, right? So it's 55% and then you got a little bit of the, you got an international at 30 and then 10 and 5. If you break it all the way down to conservative, now look at your large cap. It doesn't exist, right? So all you're investing into is basically government bonds and, and uh, treasuries, which are short-term bonds. So during the pandemic, during eight, during the hype of the pandemic, this is what I was into, right? Most of the large caps, and it's basically, uh, as you can see, VU in parentheses. This is basically a Vanguard fund um, that it uses. So that's how I come. I lost so much money, and then boom, in April, this is the play I'm in, conservative. From April, after I did it one month, going all the way up, I did it two months. So from April to March, this is the plays I'm in after I lost all my gains. Okay, then we'll check out moderately conservative. Now the large caps companies come back. It's only 24%. The biggest holding is 42% of bonds. Then you got short-term bonds. Then you got your international stocks and your small, uh, your medium stocks, which is only 12 to 4% allocation. Then you got moderate, uh, which is 35%, which is 35% large and 28% bond. So it's kind of half and half split. And then you got, you know, your international, your small, your medium companies, and some short-term bonds. Then if you go moderately aggressive, now you got mostly large cap uh, split almost, you know, 50% of that. So it's 47% large, 24% international, and the rest are allocated to bond, small, medium cap. And this is the, the uh, setting I've been on here lately, which is why my gains are starting to come up. Because I got, you know, over half my portfolio in large caps the other 30 percent in international then i got some exposure to the medium and the small bonds i mean uh small um plays so in my opinion uh if you use acorns aggressive is the way to go i just kind of switch it up like um after what after february or so i'll go back down to um conservative and wake my work my way up work my way up every three months that's just a personal thing that i'm uh doing uh, just to have kind of a little hedge against the mark the market and you know also collect those gains which i won't have as many you know the big you know over 10 percent gains probably on the year until i get to the point where i'm in the aggressive market you know for longer than six months but anyway acorns is a great uh resource a great investing tool if you're new to investing i would suggest acorn over any app just due to the fact that you don't really have to do anything but you set your risk tolerance and put your money in. They also have an IRA account and an account if you have children. Um, you have other starter apps like, you know, Cash App has a very, very user-friendly interface. That would probably be the best beginner app to somebody that doesn't really know much, but they want to be able to buy and sell and trade their own stocks. Now, Cash App isn't going to have your SPACs, your IPOs. Uh, a lot of the stocks won't be there, but the main but the main core S&P 500 stocks will be on Cash App. And you can also buy Bitcoin on Cash App. So that would be my number two uh, suggestion. But definitely overall, number one suggestion for, for beginners is Acorns. Even if you're a professional investor or a long-time investor like myself, it's nice to have Acorns, you know, as a part of one of your brokerages. Because, like I said, you can set that aggressive tone and just keep depositing money. You can also do, like, uh, keep the change where you can link it to your bank if you spend like a dollar and 20 cents it'll take that 80 cents and automatically reinvest it or you can set up reoccurring investments so let's say every week you get paid you can set it to put five 
10 100 dollars out of each check it'll automatically deposit into acorn to give you that nice growth which it will compound over time so um i do like acorns and for my balance how you see it spike here to like three thousand, and then back down to 600 that's because i swing trade out of this account so what i do is deploy about three to four thousand dollars into this account i'll let it sit for 30 to 90 days then i'll pull out all of my principal or capital that i put in and i'll just leave my gains into the app so as you can see uh this was my i started this in june so i had about 500 dollars right i deployed about 400 bucks then i took out the money i had so i won't i only gained about ten dollars on that swing trade okay then i put in about thirty one hundred dollars as you can see i made gains on my thirty one hundred dollars about 500 bucks so now when i took out my uh capital now i have 600 dollars in the account when before i only had 500 so i profited about 100 dollars on that swing trade then here i deployed all the way up to 2100 dollars then i took it out now my account is about 800 bucks i had six so i made about 200 dollars on that swing trade you see how that's working I just leave my gains in there and take my principal my principal out and that is the whole house money strategy so here as you see it starts going up we'll zoom in a little bit Ooh. okay back down to set so here as it starts going back up this is the month i'm deploying my money back into the uh back into the uh app so i'm gonna put in you know a couple few thousand dollars and then i'm gonna swing trade it again and as you can see, I'm profiting anywhere from, you know, what is this, none? I'm profiting about $100, $200 every time I swing trade it, uh, just on free shares. And that's how I'm building up this account, just to be a, a strictly house money account while not losing uh, any capital or, or any principal. And that's the video for today. Uh, if you want to follow my journey, sub, hit the like button, uh, hit the bell if you want notifications. I do have 12 brokerages. I show all 12 of these brokerages that I have my house money strategy deployed in. Um, I show my gains, my losses, my deposits, my withdrawals, all my uh, stocks I'm buying and selling, as well as I have, um, I do analyze stocks. So I post stock picks all the time, stock news, uh, price movements, price gains. Um, I'm going to be into the stocks that everybody else is into, the, the, the guarantee plays. I'm also going to be into the speculative stocks, and I'm going to be into some stocks that you never even heard of um that are actually very very good stocks i'm up i started this strategy in june i've already accumulated over twelve and a half thousand dollars worth of house money shares which i consider free stock and is definitely a risk-free investment long term because that twelve thousand five hundred dollars that i've accumulated i can let sit for decades and i don't have to worry about it because whether it goes up or down it's not even my money anymore at that point because I've already put my capital in and took it out. So that's all house money, which history shows the market goes up. So I'll make gains off that money. It will compound. I will get paid dividends off that money as well. So like I said, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button for this video if you don't mind. I'm only at 28 subscribers. I'm trying to build a channel. I'm dropping two, three, four, five videos a day, every day, consistently showing all my moves in the market. And, um, yeah, so I appreciate you guys tuning in. See you in the next one.